Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into Q&A, and I'll answer the questions to the best of my abilities. Let's go. So, ba, 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 ba. Anonymous, Anonymous, excuse me. CFTC will do much more good at Bitcoin than the bloody SEC. Maybe. I mean, I'm just making my best guess. And from what I've seen from the different information I get, I mean, look, again, I thought Gary Gensler was going to be pretty good. He was very knowledgeable about crypto, but unfortunately, he was a Goldman Sachs guy. And, uh, you know, that's all, I, that's all I'll say. Uh, Tommy, hit the like button on the spec, folks. I'm feeling good about this one. Yes, I felt good about it, too. Let's see. And the, my keys are in a family safe with instructions. Be realistic. Sure. That sounds good. Most of you become aware. Uh, yeah. You can pass it on the next kin. So like, you know, your, so like your ledger and things like that, you can just leave instructions for your family and that can just transfer over. No middleman required. So yeah, might as well. Uh, SAS Crypto says a Bitcoin spot ETF with Fidelity would be, would be fantastic to help diversify. True. I'm not a big fan of uh, paper crypto, but uh, I think it'll be good for the people who don't really understand the whole point of holding crypto. And I think it'll be good for the market in general. I don't know if it's going to help right now. But, and I, don't, I can tell you right now, I am not too confident in a uh, Bitcoin spot ETF being approved. A futures one, sure. We got a bunch of those, but... I think those are worthless, personally. And that just helps to manipulate the market, but sure. Ah, Don Sibaro. So, so a bit of DCA this week? Uh, more like value cost averaging. Just waiting for Thursday. Oh, really? The 3AC guys got caught in Dubai. I got to check that out. If you don't know, 3 Arrows Capital, uh, the two gentlemen that were running that were on kind of on the run they just didn't want to talk to anybody and apparently they went to dubai i don't know if they're under arrest i don't think they had any extradition or maybe they just figure it all out chartiques Char chartrex says follow rob's rules y'all those are just my rules you can do whatever you want to again my rules are, are quite simple just for me which is uh i don't invest more than i want to lose i just assume that it's all gone because i'm uh, speculating right here Everything's a scam until proven otherwise. I don't leave anything in exchanges anymore, even my 3% I used to. I don't use leverage, and I take profits along the way. That's all I got. And that's it. Be safe. Be safe out there. <laughs> my precious. XRP is a deep state coin. Yeah, maybe. What, but what isn't a deep state? <laughs> I was in cell. Fool me once. Yeah, Celsius. We were all there. Gansler did fool us. He's very good at that. Well, he didn't make any promises, did he? Just what we thought. I just thought wrong. So Sass says, don't lose your keys. A lot of responsibility. And he's right. It is a lot of responsibility because you now own that piece. I mean, think about it this way. What do you really own in life that you actually have control of? You know, like cash, cash is, you really control your cash, Right. The things that are in your bank account, do you really control everything that's there? Like, can you go there and take uh, all the money out? Well, if everybody did that for, for your bank, I don't care where you're at, local banks, uh, they can't give you cash. They have to say, sorry, sir, we don't, we don't carry that much cash. Wait a little bit. And then for like your real estate property, you own it, own it. But do you really own it? Well, you got to pay taxes and all that stuff. And that never stops. And then maybe some other things like your cars and things like that. But you got to pay taxes on that as well. So like, think about the things that you actually own, own. And with Bitcoin, you actually own, own it. You don't have to go through a middleman. No one is actually uh, taking a look at exactly what you're doing. And uh, you can hold it right here and you can transfer it to anybody without any middleman coming through it. I just had to transfer uh, heavy five figures across the globe uh, last week. And uh, it was a lot of jumps, a lot of wires and a lot of things with the banks because this person, this, well, this business didn't specifically take crypto. So when I got to use the banks, I got to go through the middleman. And guess who knows all about that? Everybody, uh, especially in the government. That's why the KYC and AML is there. But, but with this, if I wanted to, if they just would have taken some Bitcoin <clears throat> or Ethereum, I, I could have gotten it to them 
within uh, under 10 minutes and I went in to pay some stupid crazy fees, but whatever. People don't get it yet. How many on ramps and off ramps? If that's for uh, public.com, they're like a brokerage. So uh, multiple, that's all I can tell you. But I used it and I bought 25 bucks with a Bitcoin just as a test. And I was like, well, how do I take this off? And I couldn't. I was like, well, the hell with that. And that was it. That was, <laughs> that's really it for me. Uh, let's see. You own less, less racketeering by the SEC, potentially. Who knows? Rules to live by? Yeah. Here's uh, Mental X says XRP is a far better investment going forward than Bitcoin or ETH. Uh, a lot of people would disagree with you. Some people would not. I'd rather, me personally, well, if you're just looking at gains, I mean, once, the, once Ripple beats the SEC, then of course the price will go up and it could be double, triple, quadruple. So it depends on if you're looking for that or if you're looking for the technology, I don't know. <clears throat> Bnat says anything built by a foundation or company is a security, I believe. Hmm. We'll find out. That's above my pay grade. Raw question. If Tether crashes, will the USD BUSD pair soar? Interested in seeing Tether crash simulation. Look, if Tether crashes, we're in a lot more problems than that. And then uh so USDC and USD pair soar. I mean Maybe, but I mean, what's that going to do for the rest of your portfolio? It's going to hurt. And maybe you want that to happen. I don't know. But I will tell you this. During that UST debacle, when, uh, when um, or not, for the Terra stablecoin, algorithmic stablecoin, remember when that lost its peg? And everybody was talking about how Tether was going to lose its peg? And it wobbled for a second, for a little bit. But it said the test of time, didn't it? And Tether's been around a lot longer than most. So, I mean, so far, it's looking pretty good. Does that mean that it can't be uh, depegged and problems can happen? Sure, why not? We'll see when, uh, when they do the audits. But they already had one, went forward. We'll see. I personally don't like Tether that much. I just use USDC. And the reason why is because Alaire, the CEO, came before Congress and said, we are 100% backed by either bonds or cash equivalents, 100%. And actually, they're, they said that we have a little bit over than, than what it is. So for them, I like that, especially if you can back it up. With Tether, yeah, I don't think anybody, anybody's seen their entire books except for the audit that was done in the British Virgin Islands. If you want to trust yourself on that, go right ahead. But I keep a lot of my wealth in, well, real estate and uh, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I stick it right in here on this thing, a ledger. My mom is here. Uh, yep, when I hit 100K, I'll do a cannonball in the pool. No problem. I have no problem with that. Who's these guys? These, these guys? These? These? Are you going to live stream the Fed meeting? No, uh, no, not really. Um, a lot of people, a lot of other people will be. I'm more excited to have Simon Yu on from StormX than uh, the Fed meeting. I got to tell you, it's you got one of two flavors. You got vanilla or chocolate. Either you're going to get 0.75 uh, interest rates or you're going to get one percentage point or 75 basis points or 100 basis points. I don't think anything's out beside that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of that is actually priced in. A full percentage point going up, Probably rock the uh, the uh, markets for a bit, but it'll recover. What's really going to hurt is these earnings reports. I think that's what hasn't been. For some reason, people are like, "Wow, the earnings are down. That's crazy." <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever. Vision twenty twenty is hindsight. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Gary is wise. He's not dumb, I'll tell you that. And I think he's doing the long run path, clearing the house first. Yeah, okay. Bitcoin drops 90% every so often. Uh, 
we've seen some falls, but I mean, look, the all-time high was 69,000 for this year. I think the lowest I went this year was 17.8. It's quite a bit. But again, it's all what you're, what you're in for. Are you in it for like, like the super long run? Are you in it for the technology? Are you in it for the rebound? I got to tell you, tomorrow, if the judge comes out and says, judgment for Ripple, SEC, sorry, you lost. Every single person here will be like, oh man, I should have had XRP. I guarantee it. Well, 99% will say. Some people just hate it. But I'll tell you right now, I'll be glad that I, I held on to it because I can guarantee the price will go up. That's it. But again, for some people, it's not about price goes up. For some people, it's more. And that's uh, them. <laughs> Robert Goss. This guy's funny. I don't know, Jack, but I'm moving out of all coin generally and prepping for opportunity to maybe build long-term positions at Bitcoin and ADA. I like ADA. And that's it. Take note. Take note, though. I'm always wrong. Yeah, always wrong. I've read a lot of your stuff. Yeah, Robert's right. You know what? If you like that, Hey, I will tell you this though. I know people don't like Cardano. Some people don't. I love it. And uh, it's cheap. It's very inexpensive. It's pretty fast. And it hasn't been down. So it's got, uh, got DEXs. It has NFTs. You can transfer a lot of things on it. Uh, it's got a great, I mean, as far as staking, I don't think anybody does it better than, than Cardano. Staking, they killed it. Knocked out of the park. Your crown never even leaves your wallet for Pete's sakes. There's no lockup periods. And yet, there's no lockup periods. And yet, let's, well, let's take a look. I think it's over 70%. I could be wrong. There's a website called stakingrewards.com. You can verify this. Remember, don't trust. Verify. I could be a filthy liar. <sighs> let's see. View all assets. Um, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche. Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Polygon. Does anybody know a specific reason why Cardano is not in this list? Let's break it down by staking ratio. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's go by numbers. Now, other way. Very interesting. This used to always have Cardano on here, and now for some reason it does not. Let's take a look. Unless I'm missing it. That's interesting how they just delisted that. Well, let's go here. Very interesting, stakingrewards.com. Very interesting. There's a website called danteachescrypto.com. It's 100% free, just so you know. And I show you the difference between proof of work, proof of stake, how it works with Cardano, how it's left into your wallets, multiple wallets, if you want to use those. Daedalus, Yoroi, Ada Light. And let's see right here. Let's go to pool PM. Ah, 24 million. Not bad. So the amount that's staked, for some reason, staking rewards doesn't hold it. 72%, almost 73% of all Cardano was staked. That's a lot. That's a lot, especially for when you can unstake it. God dang it, what the heck happened to this website? Maybe everybody can ask them. I'm very curious now. Oh, well, that's what it is. Ah, let's see. Thanks, thanks, Tesla and Gary. Don't, hey, I, like I said before, we love institutions when they come in here and, and invest, but we hate them when they take the money out. But that's what institutions do. Don't you understand? They're not here for you or me. They're here for the shareholders. And Tesla did what's best for their shareholders. So don't get mad at them. It's, uh, that is the market. It's a free market. They can do whatever they want to. But uh, I saw this nice tweet from Elon Musk. This was back in May 2021 or October 2021. And it says, Tesla has diamond hands. 
And I retweeted that. I'm like, I don't think that's true. But again, they do whatever they want to do. But just know from now on that when people talk about institutions and how they're going to buoy us and we're never going to see these peaks and valleys again, uh, call them out and say, you don't know what you're talking about because nothing changes. Uh, okay. Well, thank God Lucas is here, finally. Too busy making a ton of money in all these trades. Cardano is currently undergoing some API connection maintenance and signal roads. Thank you, Lucas, before I, my blood pressure went up too high. And here's Robin. Maybe this is Lucas' Robin. Any thoughts on Matic to be used for staking and only? I don't know, but I think Matic and Polygon is going to be the, one of the breakout stars. I mean, Disney picked it up for their incubator program, the only blockchain company project out of six. And then also with those new ZK rollups, I forgot what they call them now, but they can make that essentially uh, scaling infinite. That's what they say anyhow. And it drops the fees. So, Brad, Lucas says again, we are working to get this solved as we speak and tell them data presented on this page may or may not be accurate. Okay. All right. I thought it was... See, this is, this is why I'm glad smarter people and more level-headed people are on my show so they can tell me to calm down. It's going to be all right. Don't get fired up. Let us... Let us... <laughs> Let us dance the diamond hands. Why is the U.S. and the EU not crypto friendly? Well, I think it's because there's an old, old world system out there. And um, if you weren't, it's, I was just talking about this on a podcast right before I came on here. If you, it's much easier to come into power than to relinquish power. So if you have all the power that you need and you are the person that sits atop the throne, how tough is that to give that up? So if you're a financial legacy system and of course you run part of the government because these are things, don't, I'm just saying that's what it potentially could be. It's very hard to give up that power. And especially if you are the reserve currency and you don't want to lose those types of things, it's very tough to get out of the way. That could be a part of it or maybe it's just because they don't understand it. I don't know. And that's it. Uh, <laughs> this is good. And Jay says it perfectly. The, question, the big question is, why on earth would they be friendly to crypto? That's a great question. Why would they be friendly to crypto? It makes no sense. If you were a payment processing platform and like PayPal and Stripe, and there's a, a plethora of diff different ones throughout the globe, especially in India and China, if you're paying a, a percentage of every transaction of either 2.99% plus 30 cents per transaction or 1.99%, why would you do anything with, with crypto and digital assets when that gives power to the people? Uh, can't centralize that. It's very tough to, to take a cut there. Why'd you do it? I wouldn't do it. Ah, let's see. I think that's it. Let me make sure. Did I miss anybody's questions? Ah, if my dad's name was Dan, then Dan would be my dad. That's true. Great question. Where is the Dan is not your dad t-shirts? In the works. In the works. Yeah, I've heard this too. Germany has no tax on crypto if you hold more than a year. That's a great plan, actually. That's like, it forces you to become a better investor and, uh, you know, becoming, as they call them, the paper hands. So if you had something like that, like, hey, we want you to hold this for a year or longer and you won't pay taxes. Now, if it's a bad investment, you got to get out, you got to get out. But that sounds reasonable to me. Uh, Tony says 150,000 TPS in one second block time. Who's that? Because <laughs> they are crooks and central blankers. All right, everybody. I think. Yeah, that's it. So look. I know it wasn't a very popular opinion, but I think that, uh, I mean, regulation is coming. Where do you want this to, to be in the hands of? Gary Gensler and the SEC? Or do you think it's just best to maybe that the CFTC and their history of uh, being a little more crypto-friendly could be a better uh, vocation for that? And that really, does, that really does come down to midterms. I think if you have the same people who stay in power, which I highly doubt that's going to happen, then the, this bill as a snowball's chance 
in hell to actually pass. So we'll see how it works out. Anyhow, be strong this week. Just know we're going to see a lot of turbulence. I expect things to go down. Earnings reports are going to come out. I don't think they're going to be that great. I could be wrong. Hope I'm wrong. But again, I'm actually hoping it does because I'm value cost average. That's it. So look, thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. I do appreciate you. You don't have to, if you could do me a favor, hit that like button. Apparently, that's what YouTube, for some reason, loves as far as the algorithm. And that's it. So thanks so much. Appreciate it. See you guys tomorrow. Adios.